All right, check it out, everybody, man. We're going to dig a few cars out the grass, man. There's not a lot. It's just like three of them, man. But, you know, I sometimes really don't trust this grass sometimes, man, for certain reasons. It's just for certain reasons because I don't want to I don't want to catch a blowout or run over something. So I'm kind of so kind of skeptic right now of this. Really am. Like I say, man, I don't want to. Like I say, man, I don't want to run over nothing. That's gonna, that's gonna give me a blowout. Y'all know what I mean? So that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at. Then I gotta watch out for other cars that's all up over here, and everything else I gotta watch out for. So right now I'm not even, I'm not even really paying attention to the camera right now at the moment. I'm paying attention more to the ground than anything. I mean, I didn't have, I didn't have my little, I don't have my few share of blowouts and uh, let's just say, man, let, let, let's just say the boss wasn't too happy about those situations, man, about those things right there. You know what I'm saying? I can say, man, these tires are not cheap. You know what I'm saying? I don't like going to tall grass. I don't like going in wooded area because I don't know, I don't know what's on the ground. You know, sometimes I might do a little walk around but it all depends man i mean right there where he's at right there there's a there was a sewer box somewhere man then there's a manhole out there somewhere so i don't know what i'm running over out there you know what I'm saying with the grass you know like i could say man it's 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 not a it's not a good thing sometimes man when stuff like that happen it's really not man well you know like i say man it, it, it you know it is what it is it comes with the territory, it's just part of the job. You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining until I catch a blowout, then that's when I'm, then that's when I'm, I haven't, having the damn me fit then at that point in time then. So, you know. So now I gotta go get two more I got back here. Like I said, they go my pole right there. I gotta work around. outside right now it's not really hot at all but I don't want my I don't want my windows and stuff to start fogging up with everything so this morning I turned on my heat found my windows fog it up fogged up so fast so quick I had to wait at least about 10 minutes for them to undefrost with all the damn frost I mean I frost some but all the all the little moisture and everything up on it because sometimes man these calves they can be a little bit airtight sometimes you know but you know most time we try to you know keep the doors open a little bit or whatever you know what i'm saying keep the doors open you know and uh you know kind of let it air out some you know what I'm saying because sometimes these loaders they do hold a little air because of the ac and everything up off in there you know all right man let's try this away let's try picking out this one right here to the right like I can say, man, I'm kind of skeptic of this, man. I really am, because I don't know what I'm running over. Well, I do know there's a, I do know there's a K-frame right here in the grass right here. Down at the bottom, you can't really see it, but if you look at the left fork, you'll actually see me moving it over there. So I got a K-frame with a, with the partial of a transmission still attached to it. I can say, man, I'm kinda, I'm kinda really skeptical of doing this type of stuff right here, man. Just because, like I say, I don't know what I'm running over. I don't know what I'm running on. Like I say, I just don't wanna 
gonna catch some blowout. That's all. That's all I'm looking at. That's all I'm worried about. Yeah, so this guy here, man, he's been laying concrete on this ground here for a while now, man. And you know what I'm saying? And he's still working on it. At first, up there in the front where the crusher is at, that used to be all grass, kind of like uh, about, mm, I was remember about 12, 13 years ago. There used to be all grass up there. All right, I got to turn this AC on. I can't do this no more. I just can't. So yeah, about uh, 10 or 12 years ago, somewhere in between then, this place right here used to be all grass, all on both sides. So basically, you know what I'm saying, over the years, he done took, you know, little small sections at a time and done lay and done poured concrete on them, you know. The only thing that really doesn't have concrete is probably like right here, maybe in the middle. Most of it is kind of like hard, sand since it's been ran over for so many years so it's kind of packed off in there so it's kind of packed up off in there so you know that i don't think he's really too much worried about it's just the other side where he's just trying to get it to where it's a lot more easier for him and his little bobcat and his loader to kind of pick up cars and actually see stuff that's on the ground when you can't see it in the tall grass you know what i mean so you know Oh, Jesus, man. Oh, man, so much trash. I almost fell about that damn thing, man. Jesus. That's my little pole right there on the right I got to deal with. I have to go around on the right side to set the car or the truck on the drain rack. Then I had to come back around it on the left side just to put the car in the crusher and crush it. Like you've probably seen in my other videos, you've probably seen in the other ones where I'm making, well, where I'm making circle circles. That's just me going across. That's me going over the pole. I mean, going, I mean, going around the pole, I mean. And it's really bouncing right there. Really humid. I would say humid. It's humid inside my loader. But it's a little cold outside right now this morning. I don't know. I don't know how much it's gonna heat up or not. I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh man. Alright, one more car to dig out and that's it. So I got this, so I got the owner right here. Taking off the motor, taking the motor off another truck. I might have to end up folding that, not 100% sure yet. I might end up have to, might not, I don't know yet. All right, last one is here. This is the other one here that I got digging out here. Like I say, man, I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical of this damn grass, man. I really am. and everything with it. Oh, man. I 
some of these grasshoppers still stayed on with all that damn moving I just done did. on the right side I have to dig out steel man it's just so much stuff here man it has to be moved in order for me to get to these cars man it's so much stuff it is so much huh. I don't know I might use this car for that trash back there in the back too long so take the wheels off and go ahead and process it maybe bring it back here the way he could where he could maybe stuff some trash in it or something. Well, at least that one didn't fall off from and it stayed on. So that's a good thing on that one there. y'all man i will get back with y'all shortly